Yo, what up YouTube? It's Aki. I'm back at again with another video. In this video, we'll be discussing uh, Snyder Cut's Justice League. We'll be joining my good friend, Jake. How you doing, Jake? I'm doing great, man. How about you? Yeah, pretty good, man. Um, so first of all, like, how was your, um, what was your first impression on that movie? Like, how did you feel? When it, whenever it comes to first impressions, I mean like... Yeah, for, yeah, first. I mean, I've, I've watched it. I've watched it three times, but three times. like for, first impressions, I thought it, I I thought and still think it is fantastic, and it's, it was of good reason that I burned the Blu-ray Justice League yep. on Instagram because it deserves to not exist. Yeah, I saw that um uh, a video that you posted on Instagram. That was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> deserved to be burned, part. man. Like, bro. That shit that came out in 2017, bro, that wasn't it. Oh, it was not. Not at all. Yeah. Not, I, yeah. Like, I don't know why. Like, I was probably, like, pretty uh, childish back then. But when I first watched it, and I was like, and after I uh, left the theater, I thought it was cool. Like, I, oh, it was a cool movie because, you know, I've been a fan of, like, Justice League, like, when I was little, so little. And seeing live action, <laughs> I was like, bro, dang, this is it. And um, I walked out of the theater. I was like, okay, that was pretty cool. And then I rewatched it, like not, like I don't know, like two weeks later. And I just, I just didn't like it. You know, it freaking sucked. Oh, yeah. I watched it in the theaters. I did too. Uh, <laughs> I, got it, I got I got it on Blu-ray, and I didn't touch it. I never. It was just on my display. It was on my movie display for about three or four years. And I've I'd been quietly supporting the Snyder Cut of Justice League through Twitter and donations. Nice. Oh, the, nice. that's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's been something I've been looking forward to and I'm so glad that we're finally able to come to this exactly. for it to be a thing. Yeah. See, uh I was thinking of doing that because um before I, I I didn't have Twitter back then so like, I didn't know much about like donations and like you know supporting the film and all that. But uh it's sad cuz um uh I'm thinking to myself, I should have done that, you know, to support. But man, um, right. I'm just glad that I'm, I was able to see um, Zach's true vision, you know, to come. Um, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. So, okay. Um, so what's your, um, like, your overrating, like, to 1 to 10? How, how good was it? The, Bro, that was like an 11. 11? <laughs> All right. A, maybe a 12. <laughs> For me, it was a ten, dude. Like, um, like no more, no less. It's a solid ten, you know. Damn yeah, near. I mean, like, yeah. Go ahead. If we, if if we, if we compare it, because like I understand that there are some nitpicks that don't really matter that much, but if we compare it, my God, oh, shoot, bro. Jesus the difference, Christ. bro. Like, I mean, yeah, the I mean, they added it after two hours. I mean, like, it is a Zack Snyder's film, so there, there's, I mean, you can expect like slow motions and all that, but it didn't mind. Yeah, it, it was cool. Like the uh, the shots were cool, man. The um the graphics were on um, top notch, you know. Yeah. The, the, the yeah. I mean, I know that they had to, they had to reconstruct a bunch of these scenes, like post-production yeah, yeah, exactly. like they had to redo them so the cg might not be all good yeah yeah i, like, I can see that yeah. for a very good example the uh opening part with superman dying and his yell you can tell that it's like very edited green screen with uh the shot with wonder woman but besides that i mean that's expected i mean it's just how it that didn't even cross my mind i thought it was so cool i just freaking like missed oh it. yeah I no I might, have, yeah. I might have missed that because it was so cool. Like the beginning shot, bro, with Superman screaming, like Mother Boxes, like, you know, awakening and all that, bro. But like, come on, yeah. bro, that was so good. I, mean, like, I didn't care about it. I was like, okay, that's a thing, but I mean, I get it. So yeah, I don't yeah. care. I, I, I know what you mean. Bad. Yeah, there's some, you know, parts. But, but yeah. I, I heard, didn't, isn't the, like the ending scene with the, uh, it's the um, post uh, apocalyptic world? Isn't that like, um, like, like after um they shot justice league the original or the, was it was that scene like um sh uh it was shot like wow they sh they were shooting justice league it was added on, added on whenever yeah. they yeah, yeah, when, yeah whenever they, so, they were yeah. making I when they so. were making zack snyder's justice league yeah yeah i was a big fan of that scene uh, i like the um you know 
Okay, we can we can worry that worry about that later. You know, because we're going over over about parts to parts. But um, so right. like part one, what's the title again? Do you remember the title? Uh, don't count on it, Batman. Okay. Um, so what stood out to you the most about that? So chapter? probably the biggest difference that I noticed oh, difference? Okay. was um, Batman's intro is gone, like the stupid intro. Oh, also yes. including the. Uh, the opening scene with uh, Superman and like the kid recording him on the phone. Oh, ew! That was yeah, with like the the, the nasty CG lip. Yep, yep. That's gone. It's replaced with an even better opening, which is which catches up like literally right after Batman v Superman, whenever Superman dies to Doomsday. Right. right. Yeah. But yeah, like the um, you have Batman using a criminal to capture a parademon and it, it explodes and three boxes pop up on the wall no yeah, that was god no no that was so oh, childish god. bro like, have you seen like <laughs> i don't even like this but pretty um my own tree like problem but like the blood of the parademons was like i don't know it just looks childish like it's not like a uh, like a toy it was like a, it's like a green, it was like a green kind of thing yeah it was pretty um i don't know weird to me yeah um I mean, it's also shot. It's just like for the time that we had at the beginning, if you compare them together with Joss Whedon's version and Zack Snyder's, it's it's shot better in general. Like mm -hmm. exactly. Well, you okay, of course you don't have the you don't have the Batman intro. With that, you have it going from Superman dying to Bruce finding. Aquaman and it's and that even that part is shot better and its yeah, tone exactly. is different. Right, the tone. Like the the, um, the <laughs> yeah. other one is like over uh, like saturated, right? Like the um the Joss, yes. Joss Whedon one. Yeah. It's way too colorful. Exactly. And I can forget the Avengers movie, bro. Like come on, you don't do yeah. that in Justice League or in DCU in including, general. Including its aspect ratio is just yeah. I prefer Zach's because it's uh, the iMac. Yeah, because like, you can see much better. Like you can see like the um, top and the bottom more. Yeah. Yeah. Now see, let's um, see. Let's yeah, look at um, notes. I just want to like get on a topic with Batman. Can I, can I do that? A little bit. Yeah, of course. Batman. Like um, <laughs> like I know um, some people like doesn't like they're not like a real big fan of like Ben Affleck's Batman and all that. But like uh, I, I like his Batman because um. You know, you know how he just didn't care, like, you know, in BBS, like, he was like, he grew tired of the world and the society itself, and just, you know, started killing people, right? Yeah. But, um, now in Superman's death, he realized that there is still hope in humanity, and, like, uh, Superman's death actually, like, you know, um, influenced Batman's character, and, um, he grew as a, not, he didn't grow, but, like, in, you know, he, he became a better person, you know what I mean? You know, um, yeah. he's trying to, you know, find a team to, um, you know, get together and fight uh, um, monsters and stuff. And I, I thought that was pretty cool, you know, his character development throughout the well, here, series. Since, 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 I've, since I've basically studied these movies as of, you know, like, I'm not trying to brag. I've watched these movies so much and I've taken notes that, like, I've studied these characters. I, I know you have. <laughs> I know you when, have. When, yeah. Whenever it comes to Batman, because like I'm gonna start talking about BVS as well, yeah. one, of, one of my favorite movies, the the, the, the uh, Ultimate Edition. Yeah, yeah, but... yeah, yeah. It's one of my favorite movie too. I mean, not my. I mean, yeah, it is my favorite movie. It's my, one of my favorite DC movies for sure. Yeah, in his dream at the beginning, he, whenever he falls down that hole, yeah, and whenever his mom dies and the pearl falls down next to him, he feels like he's fallen lower than his parents. And when the I bats that, take yeah. him in, when the bats take him into the air, he is shown a lie, a which lie. is, yes. And that he's doing the right thing in society by branding these people and killing people and he doesn't realize that he has become the very thing that he has sworn to take out exactly exactly and that that's the same thing with, with his other dream that he had whenever um that huge bat came out of 
Martha's grave. Oh, I remember that, yeah. Yeah, the bat taking over control of Bruce Wayne entirely and it taking over him. It's just like so much has happened. His Robin was killed by Joker. Mm-hmm. His his manner is just barren. There was the there was the uh uh what was it called? God what what did they call the 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 event in Metropolis? Uh zero Oh uh, yeah, uh, it was like zero time or something. Well, I don't know. Zero don't know. Yeah, it was something zero. Yeah. yeah, it was it was zero point. Zero point. Yes, yes, yeah. It was a zero point tragedy. Um, and he lost Wayne Financial, that building in Metropolis, during the zero point tragedy, and he lost Jack. Jack. And he saw. Yeah, and he saw a little girl get the same treatment with with his with her family's death that he did, and he immediately blames it on Superman. But the moment. The moment that he has Superman down on the ground, about to kill him, and Superman tells him to save someone else, and which shows that he's not just an alien who is there to just, if he wanted to, could kill us. He's there to help, and he is human. He's more human than the even Batman. Bruce. Did. Yeah. And when he realizes that, he gets a form of clarity, and that. And him sacrificing himself against Doomsday changed him entirely. In Justice League, he has faith, and he is faith. not. Yeah. He, yeah, he's not relying on. Uh, uh, God, I forgot the word that he said. It's like faith. I'm I'm relying on faith, not this. But he wants to honor him in death. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't want him in death he's going to bring these people together to prevent this war from happening Mm -hmm. and his character is just so much better because he's not the butt end of jokes like Flash is he's not making dumb jokes like the the when he gets thrown into the (laughs) water huh the theatrical version was like a complete joke on Batman dude yeah um, he wasted him he he gets thrown he gets thrown on the ground and he's like Oh, something's definitely something's bleeding. Definitely like no, bleeding. <laughs> no. I mean, my God, and like there are two talk to fish Aquaman jokes that he says. Two jokes, yeah. and I mean, he's. I'm glad that this thing came out because I did not want to see Batman, who was a ruthless hardened killer in BVS go from a joke slot machine like and to think that he did all of this to bring them together and succeeds and he finds out that he can right his wrongs yeah is just full circle his his arc is fantastic I agree I, I remember something you said I, mean, I know some people like out there um, Zach <laughs> like you know well, if he's, if Batman is killing people, why, um, why, uh, he should have killed the Joker at the very start or like you know, like way beforehand. And I was like, bro, that's gonna ruin his like hum- humanity. Like, you can't like say that Batman's, like, you can't say that Batman's gonna kill Joker because he's a killer. You know, he, he yeah. still he still has his humanity. If if he does kill him, um, like you know, like beforehand, then he's going to turn into this person that he despised you know he he doesn't want to turn into that this cold hearted right thing. yeah and like whenever whenever it comes to the joker i mean the joker isn't a faceless person that is working for someone that is the person that the people that he's killing work for mm-hmm. and they're basically that's his other half and if you kill the other half you're gonna feel empty Oh, uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Like their own relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, just like at the end of the movie. <laughs> just like then. Yeah, we're we'll, we'll talk about that, like, you know, at the end. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, was that part one in general? Like, you know, Batman? Well, there is more to part one. Of course, you have. Um, oh, the, oh the, the Wonder Woman scene, dude. The, the well, yeah, but scene. you also you have you have the weird yodeling scene that. I do think went on a tad bit too long, but it was it's okay. Overused. It was pretty overused. 
No, I'm not gonna lie. It, it wasn't that big of a deal. It was just yeah, very, was, very yeah. awkward. But um, yeah, I like the I like um how that you know the sequence, you know, one woman fighting sequence went longer than the theatrical version, and she was more savage oh, yeah. in this than you know the other. other yeah, she one, actually yeah. killed people in yeah. that one. The Wonder Woman doesn't kill people. Man, shut up, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, even in the comics, exactly. like, if, if you want to draw comparisons, if you want to draw comparisons to the comics because you're a little turd. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. If, if, if you want to draw comparisons to the comics, Wonder Woman and um, I think Aquaman were the two who were like, "Yeah, I'll kill. It's fine. Like it's yeah. it's in the comics, dude." Mm-hmm. But yeah, okay. Wonder Woman killing people, uh, Martha losing the Kent farm because she couldn't pay for it because oh, yeah. Clark was dead. Yeah, yeah. Um, Lois, Lois, Morning Clark, Morning Clark. Yeah, I, I like that shot like of Lois like outside, you know, in the rain, like oh yeah, in, uh, next to um, like in front of um, you know, Superman statue or like his remains. Heroes Park. Yeah, Heroes Park. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, and then the Wonder Woman fight scene that we find out was actually Zack Snyder's, but it was different due to the tone being different and new scenes added in. Mm-hmm. Wonder Woman actually killing people. Yep. Now, after that fight, we've got the Amazonians. Oh, yes. Steppenwolf, who looks 10 times oh, cooler, man, my man, bro. That's suit, bro. The reactive armor whenever uh-huh. he goes into combat yeah. base guard. But like when he's angry, like all of his like reaction, like his suit is like spiked up. And then if he's calm, like it's all like, you know, uh, they're all put back together. Yeah. So you have hmm, you have the, the temple. And it's, instead of Steppenwolf cutting through the wall of the temple in an X like, oh. like it's a Marvel. Yeah, it's like a Marvel. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the entire temple falls mm-hmm. was, and then he jumps with the parademons. I like how the uh, Amazonians were like sacrificing their lives to, you know, um, let the queen, you know, get, um, you know, get away with the box. Uh, I thought that was pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. And then you have this him slaughtering the Amazonians. Yeah. Uh, and also, they... Uh, the Amazonians started the fight instead of the parademons killing the Amazons. Yeah, this time. Straight up fight them and fought them, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the Amazons were just like, yeah, you know, let's fight them first instead of the parademons going, like, yeah, we'll shoot them. Um, now, chapter two. Chapter two. What? Well, okay, I, I don't, I don't really remember if this was in chapter one or two. I think it was in one, but. Um, Steppenwolf goes to Russia in literally like the first 40 minutes of the movie. Oh, that was probably chapter two. Yeah, that was chapter two. Oh well, yeah, chapter two. Yeah. He literally showed up in Russia like 40 to 50 minutes into the movie mm-hmm. instead of it being at the end. <laughs> uh, he, and like, he basically, the place was toxic and it was just destroyed by radiation and nuclear yeah. fallout and he used that radiation to make his base so the place is fully devoid of nuclear anything like it's perfectly fine to live in now because of the shit that he did but that's still not good <laughs> yeah yeah so and the Russian family is gone oh thank god <laughs> I know offense yeah. but like I, we don't, it's not necessary to be like them well, yeah, because we also have the thing where that was the only thing that Flash did in Justice League. Oh, yeah. So, so they, I'm glad they got rid of them because, number one, it's stupid. Number two, thank God you gave Flash other things to do. Because really, pushing a truck times way cooler what he did. Uh, yeah, pushing a truck, pushing a truck, and then getting one up by Superman immediately after is pretty stupid. Pretty stupid, yeah. All right, and then. Then we're introduced to Silas Stone. Silas Stone, yeah. And um, then I think what was it? The janitor gets kidnapped by a parademon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. I think. Okay. Uh, and then uh, another great thing is that Bruce knows nothing of the mother boxes until wonder until Diana shows up to talk to him about it after she goes into yeah, the temple. Yeah. Or, I was kind of surprised about that. Yeah. I mean, it's a good thing, but. 
And then the uh, introduction of Ryan Choi, who is Adam, Adam or DC. Yeah, I heard about that, yeah. And the uh, the sketch of the Parademon Snatcher looked like Batman. Mm-hmm. Cyborg has a different intro, which is good. Oh, I, I like Cyborg's backstory, man. It was, it was really heartwarming. And then the, the 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 added scene where Diana learns about the mother boxes and dark side. Oh which yeah, is good. Oh yeah, the um, they sh- um the Amazonians shot the um arrow of something. Uh, I forgot the name. Yeah, they the, shot the uh, old the, ass the, arrow. Yeah, the arrow of Artemis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then yeah, Diana, he she got that, and then she went to this like cave, and then and then I, I was shocked when that arrow thing was the key to enter that um that ruin, you know. I thought that was pretty yeah. Cool. Um, and also they kind of made they made the Aquaman movie obsolete, so it, so they they made that yeah yeah for because like that is going to be only to be watched in the. Warner Brothers, Walter Hamada, DCEU, not Zack Snyder's. Yeah, because it's like they look completely different. Like the Atlantis, Atlantis was like so different from the Aquaman yeah. and the Zack Snyder's version. But then you also have you also have the Atlanteans talking in uh, clicks, like oh, dolphins. Oh yes, yeah, that, that was pretty cool. I, I, I want to point that out. Like before, like I wanted to do that. Point that out. I thought that was pretty cool. Like there was some like really cool details. Yeah, Looking and then you, have the, then you have the introduction to uh, Desaad. Oh, yeah. Man, their voices are so menacing. Yeah, and him referencing that there's no lanterns and no Kryptonian. Yeah, no so lanterns here. Yeah, are, yeah lan- lanterns are a threat. Oh, wait, oh, before that, um, did we talk about the um, the, the past war sequence with Darkseid coming to um, Earth? Uh, that's uh, that's actually coming up. Oh, that's actually coming up. Uh, oh, I thought it was Diana, Diana tells Bruce about Dark Side and the Mother Boxes, and then yeah. Dark Side's intro, mm-hmm. who at the time was not Dark Side but uh, Uxus, yeah, because he had not gotten his Omega Beans, Omega Bean, yeah. and he was not the, yeah, he was not the ruler yet. He was just you know, mm-hmm. he was just like on his own little thing. He had not gotten to the throne yet. He yeah. was just a dude. Yeah, he was just a baby back then, man. <laughs> yeah, but then you had the Green Lantern, who I had already forgotten his name, and I'm going to Google it right now. Yeah, uh, I heard like uh, like that Green Lantern, like it was based on like this really old like um Green Lantern from the comic, I think. Yeah. Uh, what's his face? Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know his name either. Where is what's the name? I can Google it. Oh come on! I can't find it. Sweet Jesus! It's 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 like some crazy name. Why? Oh. Yeah, no, I don't remember the name. I'll have to find it later. Yeah, I'm but I, I, I can't find it either. Yeah, yeah he, um, he shows up and immediately gets killed. Yeah. I mean, at least we get to see But he's still, like, he does, he does more. Yeah, he so does that's more, yeah. fine. Um, and then uh, Ares, Zeus, and Artemis are all there. Yeah. He got whooped by Ares, man. <laughs> oh, his his his, his name was uh, Yalan Gore. Yalan Gore. Oh, okay. I heard, I've seen that. Yeah, name Yalan Gore. Like article. Yeah. All right. Uh, back to Discord. Okay. Uh, and after they had dro- after they had drove them back, when Ares snapped his staff and Wait, was that the same him- actor as the one Roman Ares? Yep. Oh, that was that's cool. Then that's good. <laughs> I thought it was different. I thought they were different. But uh, I've, I, I'm pretty sure I, I've seen some similarities. But okay, that was definitely yeah. Cool, man. Yeah. But we we are also the first world that Darkseid lost to. Oh yeah, that, that was good too. Oh yeah, it is. Yes, yeah, yeah. The Darkseid that ever lost. Man, I mean, fucking dude, buried the box. He was going against Zeus, like Artemis, and like um, the old oh, gods, yeah. and like yeah. Atlanteans, Amazons. You know, you know all these like 
powerful people, man. Of course he's right. Be <laughs> and then I'm just gonna say the music in this movie is fantastic yeah. by Junkie X. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. All right, now chapter three. I literally, which I listen. Oh, like, I forgot the time. You just want to point that out, like, like Marvel fans out there, like you can't. I mean, you can say like anything you want about DCU, but you cannot deny that their music does ten times better than Marvel music. I'm just gonna say that. Yeah, it it it, set, it sets it apart from the from the MCU. Yeah, exactly. You have Hans Zimmer and Junkie XL. If you have Hans Zimmer, it's over. It. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's over. It's game I mean, over. Even, even in a movie that's so divisive as Wonder Woman 1984, Hans Zimmer's music is still amazing. Yeah. And I, I heard that, that they reused Beautiful Lie in that movie, and I want to hear it. They did? Oh. I know that you reused well, uh, Wonder Woman's theme and Superman's theme. And I, I don't know, but I didn't know about Beautiful Lie. Oh yeah, and, and the new Wonder Woman movie, the new Wonder Woman movie. Apparently, they used it in like one of the last like pivotal scenes, and I really want to see it like in context. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Now to chapter three, where we get the uh, we get the f- uh, Flash stuff. Oh, the Flash! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. Hmm. So, I'm pretty sure it opens up with. Barry going to work at a, at a dog walking place and meeting Iris West, who is the new accompaniment, a new person, yeah. his love interest. Wait, did they? Uh, was it the first time they met, or like, I don't know, did they meet somewhere yeah. else? Yeah. And... First time they met. First time they met, okay. Which, which makes the scene intro a little weird, but I don't care. Yeah, it's it was. Fine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was still cool, though, like, with Slash, you know. Breaking oh yeah, out of sneakers and like you know breaking the window and yeah, yeah, cool. like his his if he if he isn't careful, his powers are super destructive. That's exactly. why he was being yeah so gentle with Iris because if he was to exert himself any harder, he would probably hurt her. Mm-hmm. Ever mm-hmm. like people on online are constantly saying like he was he's weirdly he's weirdly groping her down to the bottom yeah, to like he down needs to, to be like, careful, man. Bed. He don't want to fucking kill he, her. A lot he needs to be gentle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and he takes he takes a hot dog, which oh, yeah. is kind of weird. But he takes the hot dog for the dogs. It was weird fine. at first, and then now you get the context that <laughs> later. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then um, after that, we also get the parademons being abducted by, or the parademons abducted uh, Atlantean guards, which was told by Volko. Oh yeah, Willem, uh, Willem Dafoe, yeah, Aquaman. yeah, yeah. I like his design way more than Aquaman um, design. Yeah, he's he's, he's, he's got guys. long, yeah, long hair, yeah. long curly hair. Yeah, yeah. And then Steppenwolf found the second mother box. Sorry, I'm yawning. Found bro. the second mother box from an Atlantean memory using a kind of like a mechanic, yeah, kind of sorrow yeah. looking thing. Yeah. Um. Wait, did we talk about uh, like Cyborg's um like his testing move? Like his like his like um like going to his mind and, like like his like seeing his potential? I thought that was. Oh cool. no! I, I that... I'm, I'm actually I'm going beat by beat. Like I have it written down like from like each scene before and after. Like I'm just reading down through my notes. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, because yeah, because Lois has Clark's cape. And then Cyborg's backstory begins with the football game. Oh, right. Okay. I'm just going to go with you. Just, then. Yeah. But yeah. His, his dad not being there. And then the car accident where him and his mother die. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then Victor gets the tape from his dad. And then he starts to test out his abilities. Yeah. I thought it was flying. Cool and, like, uh, you know, his mind, he, he can literally like use like literally like every like military like arsenals and he can use that in like in his own will oh yeah yeah and his probably one of the things that actually made me cry in this movie was uh him helping out the struggling oh, mother yeah I, I love that scene oh it yeah. oh man like yes yes <laughs> that was cool i was just super sad the entire time bro like compared to 
this cyborg to like theatrical version cyborg. Like not even a comparison. Like, but like, uh, this cyborg has one probably one of the best like development out of all the characters we've seen. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And now you've got chapter four. I'm pretty sure. Well, we talk about um like Batman meeting up with Flash. Was that is that chapter four or is that chapter three? Uh, yes. Barry has his conversation with his dad and then meets up with Bruce. Yeah. The the K-pop TV is gone oh, thank from God. Barry's room. <laughs> that thank was, that was God. Pretty, that was so like weird. Why did they give him a K-pop TV? But yeah, no, like his uh his, his dad's conversation. It's like a lot more heartfelt and a lot more meaningful. Yeah. Um, and then there was the scene with Alfred making tea for Diana, but Diana is making the tea. <laughs> oh yeah, I thought that was pretty. Sweet. Yeah, he, yeah. Yeah, he, 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 he was he was butlering her and he's trying his best not to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then um, Batman's wrist gauntlets that take off Wonder Woman. So he's like, maybe you should make a lasso too that's all right. in black. In black, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then, oh yeah, uh, Diana meeting up with uh, Cyborg and Cyborg saying, fuck the world, which I did not expect him to say. I did not expect that too. But, and then he buries the mother box in his grave because he oh, is wait, wait, before that, uh, before we continue, uh, have, did you like um, remember that part when um, Bruce and Diana was talking? And then Bruce was going to like reach for the mouse and then Diana reached for the mouse and they were about to touch his hand. Like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fucking Wonder Bat. The Wonder Bat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he was like, uh, more. So uh, Aquaman said that he'd join us, more or less. More, more, more or less. Uh, more or less. He said no. He, he said, said no. no. He said no. <laughs> 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 the, the, the whole mouse thing. Oh, the dating. No, I'm kidding. Um, and then after Victor Stone burying. The mother box. The mother box. Yeah. We have the. I, I, started, I started giving the mother boxes like weird names. Like what? But uh, mother box Atlantia. So the the fight for mother box Atlantia is a lot cooler. Mara uses her water abilities to try and suck the blood out oh, of yeah. Seven Wolf's that, that was pretty. That was pretty cool. I was like, what was? What is that? And I was like, oh, he's sucking the fucking blood out of his um. Wait, she she, she stole all of his water from his system. Yeah. And then started taking the blood. I was like, oh, bruh. I mean, and of course, I mean the Aquaman's backstory is kind of the same. Yeah. But it's a tad bit different. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. And then. We get to the Strikers Island fight, but like not yet. Like they they all meet up, Diana, Barry, and Bruce, and they all get prepared to go. And then you have Commissioner Gordon with the bat signal, and Cyborg Wait, shows no, up. I said, "Oh, oh my God, that's your signal. That means we should." Oh. Uh, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, oh, that's, that's your signal. That means we should go. Yeah, that's that's what that means. <laughs> no, that was but then cool. just like there's Commissioner Gordon not giving a shit. Just throwing away all those papers that his uh, assistant gave him, and he just yeah. throws them away immediately. Yeah. Then yeah, they all beat up. Uh, Batman perched up on that gargoyle is shot better because in the Joss Whedon version, it's blurry and out oh of focus God, for no yes, reason. Bro, it was like the trailer, like you know, trailer like before the Joss Justice League. Like it was, it was shot pretty good, but like in the movie came out. Yeah. Just, like bro, why did they show they show it in the trailer but not in the theatrical? <laughs> That's so weird. I mean, and here's the thing. Look, I do. I didn't really. I didn't have an issue with Danny Elfman's score for Justice League. I hated it. But I, but like I, I do. I prefer Junkie XLs. But I mean, it's always good to hear the original Batman theme. Oh, did it? Do but the like original Superman theme too. Like the da da da. Like da, 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 da. Yeah. yeah, but they they made it like they made it like go down instead of going up. Yeah. In the measure. But um. I mean, it's always good to hear it, but Danny Elfman was being an arrogant shithead about it. It's like, there's only one Batman theme. Okay, nobody cares. Shut <laughs> up. Bro, bro, the, I'll get back to, like, the, um, the soundtrack thing, but that Batman theme in BVS was so good. Like, the um, whole, like, really dark, like, like a, really dark, the, gritty the, music. Fucking aggressive. Aggressive, like, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, like, it's, 
It's one of my favorite. And then like the choir at the end. That was so good. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Strikers Island fight. Yeah. Oh my god. So much better. Oh. So much better. So much better. There's like the, there's like the standoff with Wonder Woman yeah. and Steppenwolf. Um, the the stupid yeah. scene where Flash is like, I've never done battle. <laughs> Say one. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Say one. Say one. And then you'll know. You're like, no. Flash <laughs> literally throws a parademon through a set of doors and kills it just by pushing him. Yeah, like, just a single push and he just fucking kills it. Yeah. He, F- Flash isn't a pussy in this movie. Oh. Yay. And then uh, Cyborg saving his dad. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the Flash... Wolf. Uh, what? what? Wonder Woman versus Seven Wolf. I thought I was pretty good. Oh, God, that fight. Yeah. Ah, my son. And, yeah, and once again, the the design helps so well oh, with yeah. that. The, the movement of this like, armor, you know, is, uh, yeah, it was really good. It, it's, it, it, it really helps, because if, if you look back at the original design, like, of course it's more comic accurate, but nobody cares. Yeah, nobody cares. It, it, just, it just looks dumb. I, just, I can't stress enough how stupid it looks yeah. okay can we talk about like stepping for a second like uh i think we missed this but oh yeah um, like, his character he has like, an actual character yeah exactly his, uh, he has um you know he wants to go back to the world right he owes dark he wants side to go. like yeah he like he owes dark side like fifty thousand worlds some shit yep fifty thousand worlds yeah that's crazy because he because of the uh the great defiance yeah from what it was called like, he and probably, he betrayed he probably, them yeah he probably set up like a coup to dark side to you know, overthrow overthrow or something like that. Most likely. Yeah. But yeah, I like <sighs> I like how he actually has a character now, not just like this big bad villain that wants to rule the world, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um then so yeah the the Shrekers Island fight, Batman's doing stuff, Flash is doing stuff, like him saving the it's like getting all the debris off the civilians of the hostages that were down there. Mm-hmm. Is because he was told to go interrogate uh, the people he captured. Yeah. Um. After Steppenwolf loses that fight, and uh, Aquaman comes in to save the day and finally joins the group, mm-hmm. Steppenwolf gets the Mother Box Vision to show him oh, about yeah. the Anti Life Equation. Anti Life Equation, yeah. Which was something that I'm so glad that they added. Yeah, because uh, because then the moment that he finds out about the anti life equation, Dark Side shows up through the hologram <laughs> thingy. Uh, so this is like one part that uh, confused me. Like I'm not saying it's uh, it's a plot hole or anything, but um, so uh, Dark Side came to Earth like a long time ago, and he smashed his hammer uh, as whatever that weapon is, and he created this freaking sign. Isn't that the anti life equation? Where am I tripping? No, that's that's not. The it, it's it's. No, it's just it's just it's just his insignia. Okay. So, but like the 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 boxes were showing through a vision, like that the anti life equation is there, but he he just he just mimicked what Dark Side did. Oh really? I th- okay. I thought that yeah. sign, like in like um like Omega symbol, I thought that was the qu- equation. Oh okay. Well yeah, yeah. no, that, that was just him like All doing right, the whole right, like cool. call sign, okay, like okay, I'm okay. here. All right, that makes more sense then. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And then Dark Side shows up and is like, you know, if you you get the other boxes, do the unity. I will come there and I will claim my prize. Great, great yes, prize. I will come for my great prize. Now, probably one of my favorite scenes in the entire movie. Yeah. When they when they when they explain the mother boxes, and they're talking about how the particles of a house when lit not when lit on fire, the particles of the house turn the particles of smoke. And the mother boxes can turn that smoke back into a house. And they're all standing super still. And oh, the man is still because it kicks in. And oh, then. Oh, yeah. I like that scene too. With their conversation about how to like, resurrect Superman. Yeah. And, yeah. and like, I, they're like, I know we're all thinking it. I'm just not going to say it. And then Cyborg like, puts down the hologram. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that was good. That was cool. And it's like, bum, bum. You're like, oh, my God. Yeah. I know. That was pretty good. And then after that. You immediately have Lois and "quote unquote" Martha talking. Oh, "quote unquote" Martha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the that inclusion of Martha Manhunter, who is confirmed to be uh, Colonel 
Swanwick. Connell, yeah, Connell Swanwick, yeah. I did. Well, actually, like, knew like Martian Manhunter was in the film because uh, I've I've heard like so many people saying it. But um, look, I, I I looked at the storyboards. I knew about Martian Manhunter from the storyboards. I just didn't know who it was gonna be, and I had no idea that it was uh, Colonel Swan. Yeah, um, well, I know who. Oh, I knew it was Mark from the storyboards, but like I had no clue that like the hidden identity for the past three or oh, two movies swung. Yeah, he's been hiding in plain. I mean, he's been hiding in plain sight, man. Yeah. All right, now we're on to uh, chapter five. Chapter five. That was that is uh, the ch- resurrection. Yeah. I believe. Chapter four was called Change Machine. And chapter five was called "All the King's Horses." Yeah, yeah. Now there was in the uh, the scene with Flash and Cyborg uh, digging up Clark's grave is better because oh, it was way Flash better. Says, yeah, yeah. Flash says that Superman was his hero. Uh huh. Yeah, that was pretty good. I like that. Um, the conversa- conversation they had. And then Diana talking to Aquaman about oh, Atlanteans yeah. and Amazons talking. Yeah. And now here's one of the, yeah, bigger, the bigger things. Yeah, what is it? In this movie, instead of them just walking into the Superman ship, the Genesis chamber, mm-hmm. they have an entire scene where they sneak into the Genesis chamber. Uh, yeah, yeah, I noticed that too. And then, of course, you have Silas just like letting them go to do it. Cyborg is continuing to steal the show. <laughs> Cyborg, yeah, he stole and, the show. Yeah, and. To show build up to Superman's like re arrival, you have Lois finally getting back to j- going to the planet, uh, the Daily Planet. And there's a pregnancy test in the drawer, oh, which kind of shows that, that Lois is pregnant. Mm-hmm. I that uh, and then in the casket for Clark, there's a picture of his dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everyone's I, I, favorite, Jonathan. Jonathan Kent. Yep. Yep. Uh, and then the, then there's then there's the scene where Cyborg is. Uh, encoding himself into the box and gets the the flash forwards yeah, to what vision. happens yeah. to five Superman. That was that was neat. Freaking dead Wonder Woman, dead, dead Wonder Aquaman. Woman. He got stabbed and freaking Omega being like freaking. Yeah, oh, man, that was cool. Dead Lois and oh. Superman being. Uh, I heard it was. I heard that thing is was in Batcave. Like, um, like yeah, um, it was. Yeah, yeah it was there in Batcave. Was, uh, Ro- Robin's suit was in the background. Yeah. yeah. But if you want to know a fun fact, hmm. uh, Superman in that scene, when Darkseid put his hand on his shoulder, that was actually a kind of like a green screen kind of thing of him when he killed Zod in Man of Steel. Actually, I noticed that, bro. I, I was like, I thought it was similar. Like after yeah. he snapped Zod's neck, like right, right after that, right? Yeah. 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 I thought it was similar. Yeah. I actually noticed that. Yeah. And the it's moment that, yeah. oh, sorry. Yeah, you good. Go. Uh, the moment that Cyborg sees all of that, he says no, and Flash is like, go. go. <laughs> and he goes. Yeah. Uh, and then after that crazy rewind time scene where we get the music track for the Justice League theme called The Foundation. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. Uh. And then the computer saying the future has taken root in the present, and then, <laughs> Superman is back, but he's not a hundred percent back. <laughs> mm-hmm. And there is a real lip, a hundred percent, hundred percent real, real lip. lip, real lip. Oh God, I, I don't want to talk about that lip sequence or like whatever that thing was back in the just, day just man. like just like the fact that he was in contract and couldn't shave his mustache because of mission impossible the, the fact soup's that, fight is way cooler the, the fact that joss whedon like he i mean it was like beforehand like zack snyder shot this like scene with superman and then freaking joss like freaking stepped in and then he was like bro fuck those scene bro <laughs> we're making exactly. a new scene with superman with his freaking edited out Mustache, lip, or lip, or lip, yeah. Well, no, like it. And I know that's like it's just the mustache, but that was the entire goddamn lip. Yeah, the entire well, lip. I heard, I heard that like editing like his uh, lips that cost like way too much money. Yeah, yeah. There was okay. After 
<laughs> after they after they scan after Superman scans all of them, and mm -hmm. the music is ten times cooler. I mean, the the fight still goes the same as it was in the original Justice League, except the Flash's running part is extended with great music. May I add? Oh, I love that. The whole back that music. thing is different. He uses his wrist gauntlets against the laser beams. Do you believe the fucking? The, the, no, like that <laughs> line is gone. Thank, Thank God. God. Jesus. He's like, he's like, oh, I know you. <laughs> and they just, bro, that was so funny, and bro. The, uh, the taking of Mother Box Earth is completely different. Mm -hmm. Rip recipe, Silas Stone. Oh, Silas, yeah. I was like, well, his and dad, then, like, I was like, bro, what, what do you do? And then he just explained later that they put like this like heat inside the Mother Box suit, and, like, so they can actually oh, yeah, track, he, it, track it down. Yeah, he superheated the Mother Box with yeah. with the proton laser. Yeah. All right, now chapter six, something darker. Mm -hmm. Clark slowly remembering, going back to the Kent farm, doing all that, yep. and then the build the build up to the storm on Russia is ten times better. Exactly, way better. Oh, and, and then they don't, they don't I, have this like weird like red sky or whatever that orange sky, or whatever that oh, looks like. Dude, thank God that's fine. Yeah, thank God they removed that. Jesus Christ! It looks so stupid. Um, and then we have the we have the scene where uh, they're trying to get the ship to fly, and Aquaman is like, we, we're, "We're just asking a person who just lost his father to hack into three boxes that are like universes old." And Flash is like, "I thought you didn't care." He says, "Who said I? Who said I didn't?" Yeah, oh. Um, See, these like dynamics between those characters feels real, man. Like the other one, yeah. Is, oh, let's go fight. Yeah, let's go. Oh, uh, follow me. Boom. The end. And this one, like, bro, the chemistry, man, perfect. And then, um, when Clark remembers his memories, and him, Martha, and Lois get together and hug, I just fucking started bawling, yeah. bawling. I was, I, I was, a, I was such a wuss during this movie. I, yeah, I, I don't then, know why I didn't uh, cry in the first watch too. I mean, I did cry a little bit in the second watch, but the first watch too, I was just hyped rather than just being sad, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I was just hyped throughout um, all the movies. And then Bruce, you have Bruce recalling the nightmare. Oh, yeah, like, um, Barry Allen's right there. Yeah, he, he was right there. You told me that Lois Lane Lewis was the, the key. key. Yeah, like, yeah, Lois Lane, the key to Superman's heart. No, I think it's something darker. It's like every man has a key, yeah, and then there's something darker, yeah. And then they all, they all get together. The ship can finally fly. And Batman says, Faith, Alfred. Faith. Have faith, Alfred. <laughs> yeah. And then after that, yes. Superman oh. finally yeah. goes back to the scout ship. Yeah, he remembered his and, uh, father's um, words. Yes. Was, and then we get, get, we get yeah. Flight the sequel. Flight the sequel. Fight oh, the people. That shot oh, yeah. when like Superman like you know up in the uh, up in the um, sky and just you know, bathing the sun. I thought that was pretty cool. Like that shot oh, was yeah. so amazing. That that is that was my wallpaper. Well, actually, it is my wallpaper. Oh really? For my phone. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I, you I, have. I should probably change yeah. my wallpaper for that then I'm on my computer. Yeah. So. But yeah, you have uh, you have Batman storming the fortress, crashing the plane and then immediately hopping in the batmobile <laughs> oh yeah and just tearing shit up dude that batmobile Blasting thing was them. cool yeah that was yeah it was really cool and then all of them getting together and then there was that freeze frame shot oh the all the justice league yeah yeah was, I, was, I was like damn bro that was cool as hell and then the moment the boxes get put together uh, a few scenes later, you have Superman meeting Alfred for the first time. Mm -hmm. You have um, uh, Superman meeting Alfred for the first time. Like, yeah. I'm assuming you're Alfred. Uh, Master Kent? <laughs> Ma Master Kent? But okay, and then, okay, the final fight is oh, 10 times cooler, bro. Dude, I probably, uh, the final fight between Seppo and Justice League is probably the most rewatched scene like in that movie. Like, I've, I've Every day I already watch that scene, man. man exactly. That was so cool. Yeah, you have, you have you, you, okay. So the, the fight is kind of like it's, it's actually very different. 
all of them are working together. Like mm -hmm. it's like an actual arc. Like they're starting to become a team. Yep. Wonder Wonder Woman, uh, Cyborg, and Aquaman are all fighting together. Mm -hmm. Um, and then as Cyborg is going to talk to the other boxes, and the Flash is running around the city, gathering up speed. No, and at first, uh, the Superman came first, right? Superman, like, um, freaking, um, came to like protect uh, Cyborg. He's like not impressed, and then freaking throws the axe. Oh yeah, like it goes, it goes like Cyborg goes up, it inputs into the into the mother boxes. Yeah. He goes back up after getting taken down. Mm -hmm. He goes back up. Uh, Steppenwolf goes to hit him, and then Superman pops up and goes, "Not impressed." Not impressed. Man is still. <laughs> Man of Steel music Man starts of Steel playing. Music. Oh, that music's so good. He he freezes the axe and yeah. breaks it, and mm -hmm. then the part. Okay, so he, I, as I said, I was being a complete wuss to this movie when Flight started playing. When he was fighting Steppenwolf, and yeah. he was like looking at the screen, and he mm -hmm. shot his lasers. I started fucking crying, dude. Really, I don't you? know why. I was just Flight high, and seeing him back alive. Bro, that gave me goosebumps all over my body when I heard that theme. Bro, I was like, "Yo, I my was, favorite theme is coming back." Yeah, I was losing my goddamn Same, mind. I was too. He he, he lasers off Steppenwolf's horn. I like how this movie is not like Superman and his friends. It's actually Justice League, man. Like, um, you see, yeah. like Wonder Woman, like doing the freaking wrist thing, and then Aquaman using his trident to freaking blue, like, um, freaking hit like a baseball to um, freaking Steppenwolf. And Superman came right and boom punches in his stomach, bro. And then he just Yeah. And then you have like Superman that's like punch, laser eyes, punch, laser <laughs> eyes, punch, <laughs> laser eyes. <Yeah. laughs> uh and then the biggest twist of all of this, kind of, is the boxes forming the unity and Actually, dark side, granny goodness, and Dasad show up in a boom tube and then the earth gets destroyed. Oh, here comes my favorite part of all of it. Probably the most. And then, oh, and then oh. the fucking speed oh force, God. dude. That scene, bro. It's probably the best thing I've ever seen in a superhero film, like ever. And, like, and then, this might, yeah, and then. Fucking love that. Yeah, you have, you have, you have Flash, fulfilling his arc and realizing what his dad says. Mm -hmm. Dude, have, dude the, the music. Have you heard the music, bro? That music when yeah. Flash uh, went to the speed force. I was like, damn, bro. This is Cool ass shit, bro. Yeah, if you want to, it's called it's called At the Speed of Force oh, no, no, by no, no, Tom. No, no. I listen to that like, every day, bro. Come on, like you know me, bro. Yes, I mean, I, I'm the Flash man, bro. I will <laughs> say that I'm saying that to your viewers too. At, At the Speed of Force is a fantastic oh, piece of that's music. A, probably my number one from uh, number one uh, soundtrack in Justice League. Yeah, and then after. After he um after he finally restores the restores planet the with planet. his speed force yep. awesomeness. <laughs> so after yeah. he fulfills his arc, Cyborg fulfills his in the mother boxes mm -hmm. and successfully takes them apart oh, along. I love that part, yeah. I love how they show that like, the mother boxes are actually like the witches. <laughs> like Yeah, the those, witches. those three witches. Yeah. Like, I'm cool. not broken. And I'm, and I'm all... not alone. Yeah. <laughs> um and then Steppenwolf getting finished off, stabbed in the back by Aquaman, mm -hmm. punched by Superman into the air, and one woman cuts his head off, where Darkseid steps on its head and breaks the horn. Breaks, yeah. <laughs> Just freaking, oh, you lost? Oh, I don't need you. Freaking stomp his head. So, boop! And then there's the, the ready the armada, we'll use the old ways line. I told you Steppenwolf was fair. Yes. Yes, you did. You did, yes, you did. Um, but then you have my probably my second or maybe my first favorite track. The entire soundtrack is the foundation when they're all on top of the power plant oh, and the Justice so League has been formed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. That was good. Oh, that shot was longer. Plus, uh, I like how Superman, like you know, he's like, "Hey, Batman, I will help you out." Get up here. It, it, it's yeah, it's like, out. hey. Hey, what's good, brother? <laughs> <laughs> and now for the epilogue. Oh, the epilogue, yeah. Victor listening to his dad's tape as a father, not a scientist. Mm -hmm. Your father twice over. That's yeah, the yeah. name of the epilogue. Yeah. 
Uh, Wayne Manor is the new Hall of Justice. Oh, I like that. Oh, I love the shot in the Wayne Manor. Like it's all, like, it's it's dirty, but like you can see like the. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but it, it was beautiful. Like the shot in the Wayne Manor. Yeah, yeah. big round table, six chairs. Six chairs. Room for more. Room for more. God help us. And then um, Barry finally getting a real job, and his dad screaming, "His foot's in the his door!" Foot's in the door. <laughs> Wait, didn't That's that, my didn't, son. Wait, wait. I, t- I taught him nothing he knows. Wait, I'm gonna get a little off topic, but didn't that dad play um, Dr. Manhattan? Like, yes. Was, uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, and then Bruce buying the bank oh, to I'm get the back bank. to the farm. <laughs> yeah. And then him saying congratulations oh, to confirm the, yeah, the Clark is his pregnant, baby. Yeah. Well, is, it, is it the baby or the Mary? Which one? The Mary. It's a, it's a baby. Baby, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay, and then the bat signal going off and revealing the war machine from the Dark Knight returns. I love that scene. And the people that he captured were the mutants. Yeah, I heard about that, yeah. Yes. So uh, they're, like, they're all like tied by, um, by Batman. <laughs> yeah, and then and the cyborg flying. Take your Superman, place among uh, the great ones. And you, you up. Oh, yeah. And then Superman unbuttoning his shirt to show off the black insignia instead of the red and blue. And then, okay, and then Lex, Lex is out. Thor, yeah, he's out. <laughs> and then it builds up the new Batman movie that's not going to be a thing. Oh, I <laughs> wish. Bro, bro, come on, bro. That's the first Batman movie, bro. Come on. Yeah. HBO his, Max, his name, do something. His, his name is Bruce Wayne. Bro, I want that fight so bad. And uh, Lex is sane now. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, Deathstroke is like, I heard you were... I heard you were one. I heard you were a clown short of a circus. He goes, "Yeah, the good doctors of Arkham helped me give me some much needed clarity." Yeah, that's a good. So he wasn't insane, thing. but he's better now. Yeah. After that, we have Nightmare Two. Oh, the Nightmare with two. with Cyborg, Deathstroke, Mira, Flash, and the Joker. Deathstroke Two. Oh, did you say Deathstroke? Yeah, you did. Uh, and then we have the entire conversation. Oh man! With Batman, Batman and the Joker, bro. The the PFP that I have. Yes, uh, bro. That the truth were um top tier, man. Oh yeah, no. A truce, Bruce. Bruce, you tear this card, and we'll have a little chat about how you sent a boy wonder to do a man's job. To do a man's job. <laughs> Oh, and then uh, the whole thing is like, I swear I will. I, I had I had Harley Quinn. Oh yeah, dying in my dying arms. In my arms, yeah. And she said, and she said that if I kill you, and I swear I will fucking, fucking kill, kill you, you, that I'll do, do it, it slow. slow. Yeah. And he takes the card, and Joker's actually scared. Yeah, he's like, he's oh, good. you're you're good. You're good. <laughs> you almost got me. And then Superman shows up. Oh yeah. And man. then Batman wakes up. Man. Cyborg's had a whole Gatling gun. Like, oh yeah, dude. he got it on his like shoulder. Yeah. Oh, and then the <laughs> Flash. Um, he, he has his like suit from BBS or the Futuristic. Yeah, suit. Flash. Yeah. Yeah. And after Bruce wakes up, clearly, clearly losing about twenty pounds in the next scene. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Due but, to it being a reshoot. Yeah, he seemed like really. Show. He seemed like really tired. Right? He's just more, bro. Come on, bro. I just want to go. Yeah, back he, to was, he was. He was tired as hell, and he lost a lot of weight because of the reshoots. Yeah. But, yeah, Martian Manhunter shows up. He's like, uh, do I know you? <laughs> Hello? And he's like, yeah, Dark Side's coming. You need to pre- prepare. Uh, I have a stake in this world. It's about time I started fighting for it. Mm-hmm. And people have called me Martian Manhunter. He's like, okay, see you around. And Batman's like, oh, my God. He's, I like how his reaction is, like, calm and, like, all right. All right, I'll just, I guess I'll see you around. Let's go back. He's like, sleep. okay. <laughs> Good to have you on the team. <laughs> oh, and yeah. then, the, of course, for Autumn. Oh, yeah, his daughter, right? Yeah, the exact daughter. thing. thing. Yeah. Yep. Overall, it is a fantastic movie. We need Warner Brothers to get their shit together Bro. and keep this thing going. I know. But what are they thinking? Mm. Like, just going to stop? Like, there have been freaking people, like, hyping this, like, um, you know, um, this movie and, like, like, Three okay. days later, they say that we're not—they're not, they're not going to do anymore. Like, come on, grow up. Bro, 
aren't they like rebooting Superman? Yeah. Oh shit. Yep. Henry Cavill is not gonna be Superman anymore. Nah, they they gotta um freaking change their mind or else. Literally a whole stack of money in front of them and just freaking flush them away like nothing. Uh, I don't. We don't need yep. that. I'm just gonna move on to some <laughs> like, uh, you know, we're gonna make some movies that's like similar to Marvel so that we can like you know catch up to them. Like, bro, you don't. Oh, yeah, and like their, their the their biggest crutch is the multiverse plan. But if you're gonna make a multiverse, then that means you can still do Zack Snyder's universe. That's what I'm saying. Like exactly, they just. I'm pretty sure they just not doing because they fucking hate Zack Snyder and this doesn't want and, to and you're movies. you're also throwing in the towel on a universe everyone wants to see yeah literally and, most of most DC fans wants to see like the um on uh, like the Zack Snyder's you know um or vision the Snyderverse. or the Snyderverse yeah but and you also have okay here's the thing the CEO of Warner Media Jason Kalar is actually a very very big fan of Snyder and I'm waiting for him to respond to this Bro, he gigantic better movement. He better respond. Yeah, because yeah. hashtag restore the Snyder verse has been blowing up for the past five days I, on I Twitter. Care. That's crazy, man. And it's been crazy. And we're we're waiting for him to show up. We're waiting for him to make a statement and talk about it. Because Ann Sarnoff, who is the person who made the article on uh what was it, Vanity? Mm -hmm. Is probably going to be under fire from Jason after that after that article, because we're not going to get the new we're not going to get the Deathstroke Batman movie. Oh, we're not going to get Justice League two and three. We're not going to get David Ayer's Suicide Squad. Bro, I want that cut so bad. I want that cut. So I bad. do. Too. Yeah. But like, it's just I'm after four years of waiting. I'm just even if we're waiting for this to be continued still. Mm -hmm. I'm just so glad that we got to see it, and exactly. I'm so glad that his vision to be made. Oh, yeah. Um, and I, I hope that like HBO Max is like, hey, you want to want to keep going? I mean, you don't yeah, have to be I mean, under like, them. You can work for us. Yeah, they don't have to like show them in like theaters. You just you know stream it on HBO Max or in yeah. here in here it's in uh, Foxtel. But um, yeah, they can just stream stream <laughs> there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. I just realized it's it's one o'clock in the morning for me. Yeah, it's pretty that's pretty much like summed up the whole thing. Well, we just probably discussed like probably every single thing about that movie. Oh yeah. yeah. And if if you want, um maybe in another video at some point I'll have to t finish my notes. I'm doing a full analysis um for batman versus superman ultimate edition when i get my notes finished you can just hear you can just listen to me just just hear me study this movie oh and just definitely man yeah yeah i, I want to like hear your freaking thoughts or like, or like very detailed thoughts on about that movie yeah, that'll be good yeah well, yeah because i already have well here i'll give you a teaser because i have i have the first page already written down and i'll start from the top are you gonna um turn on your video oh no 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 it, it's it's just, it's just written down i was written out, okay I'll, I'll just read it to you so i quoted there was a time above a time before there were perfect things diamond absolutes things fall things on earth mm -hmm. and what falls is fallen yeah and then i said music titled beautiful lie music falls in notes like like in in the notes in the music, it falls. The uh, the death of the Waynes are shown for a later scene in the movie, which is very important. Bruce falls into an abandoned well, and one of his mother's pearls goes down with him, which shows that he thinks he's fallen further than his parents. The bats raise him into the air due to this being a dream. Music titled "Their War Here" starts. Um, the music rises in notes as Bruce rises with the bats. Quote, in the dream, they took me to the light. A beautiful lie. Metropolis. Mankind is introduced to the Superman. Mm -hmm. Bruce goes into the attack on Metropolis. Instead of Man of Steel's Superman perspective, it is in human perspective. 
showing how we feel against two gods battling it out. And that's that. That's it for now. Yeah, that's how it's so man. far. Good start. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> hey, um. Put a good time into it. <laughs> all right. Um. So that's probably all. Uh, all the things that we talked about. Um. Is there any more you want to add, or just? Um. Definitely watch the movie. Oh yeah, bro. Watch the movie, man. If you haven't. If yeah. You're, if you're a DC no. fan, bro. Like, come on. No breaks. Watch it from start to finish. Get you some snacks. Get a pee bucket or some shit. Just Bro, watch it. Dude, I sat through that movie four hours straight, man. I just sat there. I didn't even move a single body, man. I just <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Like, I recommend it wholeheartedly. I mean, people who don't even like Man of Steel or BVS still like Zack Snyder's Justice League. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, man. Um, Thanks for watching, everyone. I know this uh, like a really long video, but... um. I yeah, hope you enjoyed it and go watch the movie if you haven't. What well, I mean, what are you doing if you haven't watched it? Yet? Uh, what, what are you doing? Right? Just go go and watch it right now. All right. <laughs> All right. See you in the next video.